Today we're going to learn how to perform an independent t-test or two sample t-test using Jamovi. In 1899, biologist Herman Bumpus presented a comparison of numerical characteristics of house sparrows that were collected after an uncommonly severe storm, and he recorded whether they survived or did not survive from their injuries. We actually have data here on the length of their humerus in inches for 59 of these sparrows, and we grouped them according to whether they survived or did not survive from their injuries. So we want to know, is there evidence that the average humerus length differs between the two populations, those that survived and those that did not survive? And we're going to use a significance level of 10% in our hypothesis test. So if we go to Jamovi, we see that in the first column, we have the length of the humerus of these house sparrows in inches. And the second column, we have this test whether they survived or did not survive from their injuries. We only do an independent t-test when the variable we're interested in comparing is of the ratio or interval level of measurement. That's the length of the humerus. And we have two groups of individuals that are not connected, the ones that survived and the ones that did not survive. To run the t-test, we click on t-test and we click on independent samples t-test. The variable we're comparing is the humerus length, and the status is whether they survived or did not survive. And we see we get a p-value of 8%. So this is a statistically significant result. We are convinced there is a difference in the average humerus length of the sparrows that survived versus those that did not survive. If you look right here, we see that the alternative hypothesis is perish not equal survived. So what that means when they compute the test statistic right here is that they took the average length of those that perished minus the average length of those sparrows, humeruses that survived. And it was negative, indicating that the mean length of the humerus of sparrows that died was shorter than the mean length of the sparrows that survived in our sample. And we're actually convinced that this is significant. If we want to know how much the difference was, we can click on mean difference. And we see that they differed in our samples by, on average, about 0.01 inches. Not particularly large, but because of our sample size, it was statistically significant nonetheless.